walked on water. Who was walking on water? Was it his human nature or his divine nature? <laughs> if you listen to the Eastern Orthodox or the Roman Catholicism, their idea of Christology would tell you that that was the divine nature walking on water, but not the human nature. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I'm going to be responding to these guys' uh, claims about Christology, Chalcedonian Christology. So, insofar... Walking is an operation of the human nature. Being able to walk on water is an operation of the divine nature. Both are operating, both are in effect at this time and effectuating things in the world. So, I mean, this is not complex. There's one person of the word, two natures, two energies, two worlds. This is how, you know, it's very simple Chalcedonian Christology. They can try to claim that there's somehow two sons on this, but that he just seems to neglect mentioning that there is one person, the two natures, and both natures are operating in the example he gave. The human nature slept. The human nature ate. Do you see how this leads to conceiving of Christ as two sons, not one? If you can ascribe one action to the human nature and another to the divine nature. You are no longer dealing with one single man. So he seems to think that when we attribute particular operations to a nature that we're separating Christ, but Christ is one person and persons do the particular actions, but the ability to do so is down to the nature. We are not sharks, for example, as humans. We can't live underwater and hunt fish. That's just not how we live because it's not proper to our nature. And sharks can't walk because it's not proper to their nature. It's proper to ours. We walk as humans. It's proper to our nature and many other creatures on earth. So when Christ does a human action, that's going to be proper to his human nature. But it's still the one person of the word acting. In the same regard, when he does miracles, that's going to be proper to his divine nature. Because the human, what's proper to the human nature is not going to be proper to the divine. The divine doesn't need to eat, sleep, nor can it perish. It can't die. But the one person of the word can die in his human nature, and yet both natures are true of the person, and therefore statements such as God died are still true, and that Christ is one is still true. It just means that there are actions proper to each nature. What is clear in the church fathers that Christ should be understood as one, one love. And so in summary, there's been some fundamental misunderstandings in regarding to the fact that a person acts, but the act is going to be something that is proper to the nature. Insofar as the ability to do such a thing, the, walk, the divine nature doesn't walk the human nature walks that's proper to the nature but it is the person that is doing the walking so there's just been some misunderstandings in regards to that so there already we agree with the church fathers there is one emmanuel as saint cyril tells us in his solace on the incarnation that's not actually this book but on the so on his uh solace on the incarnation of the word he's very clear there's one emmanuel we agree there's one emmanuel one person of the word one jesus christ as a person but that person has two natures so yeah, let's be mindful of monophysite and uh, Miaphysite Christology, and especially Miaphysists without Orthodox qualifications.